session 87 Surah Fatiha the Quran summarized Brothers and sisters assalamu alaikum Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim we begin with the name of Allah who is most gracious and merciful Namaduhu nusalli ala rasulihi al-kareem and we begin with blessings on Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, the last and final Prophet. Rabbi Shrahli Sadri wa Yisrli Amri Wahlu Lukda Tam Lisani Yafkahu Kali. We continue with verses Surah Fatiha verses six and seven. Sirat al Lazina Anamta Rahim Rail Magzube Alehim Bulazwalin. Amin. The path of those whom you have rewarded, not the ones who earned your annoyance, nor those who went astray. We continue with the 36th Surah of Quran, Surah Yasin, and its verse is 53 onwards. In Bismillah, in Kanat illa sahiratama wahidatan fazahum jamila dana mozarun. The stage all set, all evidence of his deeds provided to every man. It will be time to move for the decisive phase of accountability. And there'll just be a single blood-curdling blast, the third great bugle, then forthwith mankind being forced to run, they'll all be arrayed in a system, numbers notwithstanding, apprehended to stand before us. Verse 54 <laughs> Allah would not be in a hurry to punish the mankind. Allah would not be in a hurry to punish the mankind. And it will have to wait for about 300 years with each day equal to 1,000 solar years. And it will have to wait for about 300 years with each day equal to 1,000 solar years. And then that day it shall be a highly voracious, principled, absolutely honest and very precise and accurate judgment of every man's performance. Not only, my apologies, not a single soul would suffer the least injustice and you would be punished or rewarded only for the deeds you enacted. Allah's mercy may be gauged from the fact that the past people, those making for the heaven decisively, would feel as though they had just waited a morning or perhaps an evening. It will mark the initial recompense, reward for their abstinence and patience, perseverance. Contrarywise, the majority with enormities, serious crimes would be having such a torturous time that having had a look at the hell, yet they would wish and pray that this waiting may be shortened and they permitted to go to hell. Abu Huraira Razulatara Anu stated that the Prophet, peace be upon him, said on the doomsday, while awaiting Allah's judgment, people would sweat to an extent that their sweat would sweep 70 meters deep into the earth. 
and it will engulf them to an extent that they'll be dressed in it till their mouths and ears. Muttafika alay mishkar. Anas Rasulullah Ta'ala stated that the Prophet, peace be upon him, said people would be impaired on the doomsday period of waiting for Allah's attention to an extent that they'll begin worrying, that to an extent that they'll begin worrying about it. They'll decide to ask someone who could beseech Allah to relieve this terribly worry and agony. All the people would come to Adam and say, Oh Adam, you, you Adam, are the father of the people. Allah has created you with his own hands, placed you in his heaven, taught you the names of everything, made his angels prostrate before you. Please recommend, plead with your Rabb that he should relieve us of this agony. He'll say, I number that I am not happily placed to do so, and will recount his fault of having eaten from the forbidden tree. However, you should go to Prophet Nuha. He is the first prophet sent by Allah to the people of the earth. All the people would come to Prophet Nu Noha. He would say, I don't perceive I have that high a perch with Allah to do so, and would recount his error of having unknowingly asked an inappropriate question from Allah. However, you should go to Prophet Ibrahim, Ibrahim, the friend of the merciful. They'll go to Prophet Ibrahim, Ibrahim, he'll say, I do not have this right, and will recollect his three half-truths. Excuse me. However, you go to Prophet Musa, Moses, he's such a man that Allah gave him Torah, spoke to him, and came close to whisper in his ears. They'll then come to Prophet Musa Moses. He'll say, I am like persona non greater. How he'll recount he'll recount his episode of the murder of the Kutbi and say, however, you go to Prophet Isa, Jesus, son of Maryam. He is the man of Allah, his messenger, and his soul and word. People would go to Prophet Isa, Jesus, son of Maryam. He will tell them, I number, I am not privileged to do so. However, you go to Prophet Muhammad, Peace be upon him. He is the only man that all his infirmities of the past and the future have already been forgiven by Allah. Ans Rasulullah continued to narrate that the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, All the people would finally come to me. I'll then come to Allah and seek his permission to enter his house. I'll be permitted to enter. When the moment I see him, I'll fall in prostration. I'll fall in prostration. Allah will allow me to remain prostrated till as long as he pleases. Then he'll say, O oh Muhammad, raise your head and speak. You will be listened to 
and recommend salvation and ask and ask it and ask it will be granted. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, I lift up my head and say special encomiums, praises, and appreciations of my Rabb, which he would have taught me himself. Then I'll recommend salvation. A maximum limit would be fixed, granted for me. I'll come out and exhume salvage then bring them out of the fire and make them enter the heaven. Then I'll scatter, move quickly, go back the second time and request Allah, the Almighty, for permission to enter his house. I'll be permitted to enter. The moment I see him, I'll fall prostrate. As long Allah likes, He'll permit me to hang in there. Thereafter, he'll say, O oh Muhammad, you can lift your head and speak. It will be heard. Recommend salvation. Your recommendation, intercession would be accepted. And seek, your, you will be granted. I'll therefore raise my head and praise my Rabb with such specially exclusive encomiums, praises, which he, he'd have taught me himself. Then I'll read salvation. A maximum limit would be granted, fixed for me. I'd, I'd come out, find them from the fire, and take them into the heaven. Having brought home the beacon twice, and not leaving it at that, I'll persevere. I'll come back the third time. Seek Allah's permission to enter his house. I'll be permitted to enter. Seeing him, I'll fall prostrate. He shall let me remain as such till as long as he pleases. Consequently, he'll say, O oh Muhammad, raise your head. Speak, it will be bestowed. The Prophet, peace be upon him, then said, I lift my head and praise and appreciate Rabb with such great eloquence, which he'd have blessed me himself. Then I'd implore for mercy a maximum limit encompassing all the remaining believers would be granted to me. I'll come out and salvage them from hell and leave them into the heaven. Only those would stay put in hell who would be blocked by Quran, that is those for whom Allah has promised hell those who do not believe in Quran, the disbelievers, those who believe in Allah and yet indulge in shirk also, those who believe in Allah and yet indulge in shirk also. Then the Prophet, peace be upon him, recited the ayat that your Rabb sustainer would lift me to the perch muqam -e mahmud and said, this is the greatest place, perch, this is the greatest perch place which Allah has promised your Prophet. Mutafika alay mishkat. Abdullah bin Masood Razila Tano Ano is quoted, is quoted as Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu said, I know the last person to be forgiven leaving the hell and entering heaven. Thereafter, none would be forgiven. That is, none would ever be released from hell. That is, none would ever be released from hell. A person would slink from the hell, dragging himself on the knees. Allah would order 
Go and enter the heaven. Go and enter the heaven. He'll feel as though the entire heaven is overly full and say, Oh, my sustainer, I have seen it already jam-packed. Allah would say, Go and enter the heaven. You, you have a place equal to the earth and ten times more vast. He'll submit, Are you joking with me? Being light-hearted with me, whereas you are the king. Abdullah bin Masood Razutah stated, and I saw the Prophet, peace be upon him, smiling to an extent that all his teeth were visible, said he'll be the heaven dweller of the most meager level. Muttafiqa alay mishkat. Ans Razulatana stated, surely the Prophet stated, salvation on my recommendation would occur even for the most gravely sinful of my Ummah. Trimzi Abu Daud Ibn Majah Mishkat. Ans Razulatana is quoted as Prophet, peace be upon him, said, those marked for the hell would be would be standing in an orderly row a man for from the, for the heaven would pass close to them a hell captive would say oh so and so don't you recognize me i had once given you water to drink a second man would say i had once provided you with water for ablution with the permission of Allah to recommend, the heavenward person would request Allah for their salvation and take them to the heaven. Ibn Majah. Jabir Ta'ala Anho is quoted, A person inquired from the Prophet, peace be upon him, Would those in heaven sleep? Would those in heaven sleep? The Prophet, peace be upon him, replied, Sleeping is like death, death's brother, and the heaven dwellers wouldn't die. And the heaven dwellers wouldn't die. Bahiki Mishkat. Noman bin Bashir Razilatana Anu is quoted. The Prophet said, The highest torture in hell would be for a believing person who, having two shoes, or two shoelaces of fire would make his mind boil as, as ferociously as soup in a cooking pot. He'd think, feel as though there is none suffering greater punishment, torture than himself, whereas his punishment is the lightest. Muttafika ale Mishkad Kab Razilla Talano, a Jew scholar earlier, then converted to Islam, quotes from Tara, we find written in the Old Testament, quotes from Tara, we find written in the Old Testament, Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the Prophet of Allah, a slave human being whom I like. Tremendously, he is not insolent, rude in speaking. He is soft-spoken, or no, he is soft-spoken, nor harsh by nature, nor does he roam around in markets. He doesn't retaliate, but forgives and forgets and closes the matter forever. His place of birth is Mecca. And Medina is his place of migration. He'll also rule over Syria. This his Ummah praises Rab profoundly. Happy or sad, his Ummah praises Rab profoundly. Happy or sad, they praise Allah. Happy or sad, they praise Allah. They praise, remember Allah at every step. They praise, remember Allah at every step. 
they mention Allah's greatness, high pedestal at every high place in all senses of the term. They are watchful, careful about the sun, that is, offer prayers the moment it is time for prayers. They offer prayers the moment it is time for prayers. Via Tahband, sheet, pajamas, shalwar, taup, etc., till half of their calves, till half of their calves. Trimzi Mishkat, that is, they keep their ankles uncovered, that is, the men keep their ankles uncovered, that is, wear pajamas, trousers, etc., uh, short of the ankles, ankles remain uncovered. Abdullah bin Salam, a Jew scholar earlier, then converted to Islam, died 53 after Hijrah. Is quoted, Muhammad's attribute is written in Torah, in Torah, that Prophet Isa, Jesus, son of Maryam, Mary, would eventually be buried along his side. Tirimzi Mishkat. Jabir Razila Talano, Abdullah, Abu Abdullah participated in 18 battles after Badr, expired in 74 after Hijab at the age of 94. Is quoted, it never occurred that the Prophet, peace be upon him, was asked for anything and he might have said no. I repeat, he stated, it never occurred that the Prophet, peace be upon him, was asked for anything and he might have said no. Muttafikale Mishkat. That's end for today. Jazakallah. Please pray for me. Ex-Brigadier Mustansar Billah.